Okay, front brakes on a Isuzu D Max. Okay, 2016. They've just been hammered and they've gone right through to metal to metal the other side. This side, not so much, so I'm just doing these to match. So, start with it's 12 mil caliper retaining bolts and as I go through I'll tell you the rest. So as with most bolts that turn them anti-clockwise to undo. Get a little lever bar in there then. Tight in there, lever it off. There we go. So, next, we're going to try and get that piston in there, make sure that I'm going to order a new caliper. If that sees, then um, wait for the caliper before we can do any more. Uh, whip the two pads out. See there, pretty low. Nothing on them at all, really. So um, the other side, they've gone metal to metal, so we'll be replacing both discs as well because it's badly scored the other side, which is a bit more difficult than a normal car because you've got to take off all this. It's four by four, and this disc is part of the drive system. So then I'll take off the carrier now. I'll figure out where these bolts are and then um, get that off and then we'll clean up the runners here. Okay, so we're just going to try and get the um, piston back in there. I'll use a little pad to lever again just to get some big grips and squeeze it in. I'm just going to pause it right there because I need two hands for this. Okay, so I seem to be going in now. You can see that. Keep pushing them in until they're pretty much flush. Okay, that'll do. Right, now I'm going to take off the um, caliper retainer. Or carrier, 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 whatever you want to call it. So it's two 20 mil, 21 mils at the back. Here. And up here. Undo them. Same as before. Anti-clockwise. I'll get that off and then I'll show you where to do them. should come. Tight. Take that over to the whip pinch now. Okay, so this is the other side. <coughs> the other side. And uh, as you can see there, they're all shined up and cleaned up. And that's the old ones there. That's what you want to try and go for really. When you get a new fitting kit, it'll be better to fit. Well, this is the old one. It'll fit in there much better. Give these a quick crease up as well. It'll be much better. Okay, that's how you do the uh, well, pads, really. If you just want to do pads, that's all you have to do. If you want to do the disc, I'll show you now in the rest of the video. Okay, then. I'm going to try and get the rest of the disc off now. So, H8 Allen key and uh, whip all this off and then these bolts here after but I'll, I'll show you I'll get it off quickly and then I'll um, show you what else we're going to do so this is quicker with a gun if you can get one 
quick into job right up. Okay, after you get all them bolts out, then there's just a circlip that holds the middle bit in there. And then this whole shaft should pull out. Hey, Rick. Let's do that, I'll video it. I cannot do it with one hand, I'm afraid. Now and there you take out these three little screws and the bearing will come out then. I'll show you. Okay. Once you get them three little bolts out, three little screws, get this out and then hammer this off and the clockwise again. When you can turn it, turn it. Now ideally you want the tool that goes in there to turn it and clockwise. If you don't have that tool, like we don't, you have to improvise. Right, actually it wasn't that tight in the end. Just give it a bit of a tap and then it come out. Okay, that's that, that's off. Have the whole thing. Try and keep the bearings in it if you can, don't lose them. And away it comes, and then you have your shaft, and that's what you've got to replace now. So you can do all these bolts now, get the disc off. Okay, so 17 on these, it's onto them. Using an air gun, it'll be much easier. No, battery gun. Show you the trick to get it out because you've got to put it in the press to remove it. Okay, got them all out now. Um, all the bolts on the floor. Take it over to the press now. Red. This is the sort of thing we've made up now to try and get this out. Because um, you probably tap it or lever it on there on this edge to try and split the actual um, bearing from the ditch, but not ideal. So we're just going to put it in the press. Makes it a bit quicker and easier. disc on its own that's it I'll replace this I'll just show you that bit and then there's literally just do it all in reverse order okay so you haven't got a new disc back on the hub so um put the ABS make sure you put the ABS ring on come back I'm just gonna press it on as well you probably tap it on if you were real gentle like but Put the battle back on, otherwise, it's going to cause a fault in the ABS system. Just we'll push that on, and then we'll bolt it from the other side, then, and that'll be done. Just enough, that's it. Done.
Okay, put the bolts back in. And then back on. And that's it. Bearing back on. Everything in reverse order. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.